just wanted to make a short video about removing thick concrete from metal. As you see, we got quite the job ahead of us trying to paint this concrete truck here. Uh, we've tried multiple methods. Uh, one of the first methods we tried is this here sandblaster setup that hooks onto your pressure washer and that honestly is a complete waste of time. Um, another thing that we tried was just your basic grinder wheel. Uh, I believe we used a 24 grit um, example of that. It does take off the concrete, but it also eats into the metal a lot, so it leaves you with a lot of prep work left to do. Uh, another thing we've tried is this here wire wheel. Um, it honestly does a pretty great job for what it is. It's probably one of the most cost efficient ways of doing it because it doesn't seem to wear down. Um, if you look at this half of here, it doesn't seem to eat into the metal that much either, but it does have some other consequences. Um, it's a little bit dangerous to use, especially if you get into creases like that, it tends to jump back at you. Uh, so you definitely want to watch yourself if you're using that. Uh, we tried these little scrubbies on the air tools. Those work decent. Um, not that great. We also tried 80 grit sandpaper on a DA. Now that works really well, but it's also very uh, costly. Uh, you go through pads very fast. Now, I've spent about 15 minutes here on this whole section right here with this 40 grit flapper wheel I got from Harbor Freight. That's on a Harbor Freight 11 amp grinder. It's nothing too expensive here. Uh, it seems to be the best thing so far. Like I said, about 15 minutes on this whole section from that side to this side. Uh, seems to have taken it all down and honestly not left a lot of prep work for us. It's, it's very smooth. It's almost ready to primer and paint as is. So I think that's honestly the best way to go. Um, beforehand, it was about as thick as this right here. So it was very thick stuff. This is an old cement truck. It's plenty of years of concrete use on it. Uh, Alfonso here will show you just kind of how fast it goes. So that's pretty minimal pressure, pretty minimal effort. As you can see, I mean, that's some pretty thick stuff there. Um, honestly, I think this is the way to go. As far as cost effectiveness, I, I think it's pretty good. I haven't found, I haven't gotten to the point yet where this is wore down where it's ineffective and I've done a pretty good section here. So I think out of everything we've tried so far here, um, that 40 grit flapper wheel from Harbor Freight on the Harbor Freight grinder seems to be the way to go. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, anything better, let us know in the comment section. Um, we've heard of acid and other things like that, but just kind of didn't really want to get into that. Uh, the more expensive sandblasters might work well. Uh, we, like I said, we tried that pressure washer sandblaster. It didn't seem to work too great, but we did get this one off of Amazon here. Works off of an air hose. Uh, it's just a China made thing with this black magic, it's called uh, sandblaster sand. Uh, it seems to be doing a decent enough job. Uh, personally, I'd recommend using that flapper wheel on all the flat surfaces that you can, and then just using this to get into those hard to get areas. Um, so that's the best advice I can give you on how to get really old, thick concrete off of metal surfaces. Uh, again, if you have any better suggestions, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks.